Ooh, what, what episode is this? 21. 21. 21. Oh, snap. Oh, man. Damn. We really, <laughs> we really came up to 21. 21. The legal age. We do this is like, what, May? Yeah. Yeah, if, it, it really feels like it. Every time when Derek, he's like, yo, the podcast is done. And, we, and I look at it, I was like, man, who is this guy? Like, yep. The know, claps don't even scare me anymore. Yeah, I know. We're like used to it. Yep. You know? Um, all right, let's dive in <laughs> to this podcast. So <laughs> we're going to talk about the experience. Um, when, what do you get out of Blue Capital? Like, what do you feel... As a student, like just pretend you're a student, like yep. pretend you're not anyone that's. I'm a student party. always, bro. All right, touche. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, what do you feel like your experience as being as a student uh, with the, Blue Cap? What What I would say, like what, what attracts me completely, is the culture. Culture yeah, means agree. a lot to me because. If I'm not going to feel comfortable in a certain sur- surrounding, mm-hmm. I'm not going to even put my foot into that surrounding. Yeah. So by having a great culture, making people feel welcome, me feel welcome, mm-hmm. like I, I kind of feel like through our whole discord that, you know, there's, there's a presence between me and you when people ask questions, they're looking to us for help. We answer all those questions. We interact with those students to the point to where they feel extremely comfortable to yeah. the point where like they know some of our personal lives. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, granted, you know, it's, it's, it's a business as ran, but it's more of a family environment than anything, mm-hmm. you know? So it's, it's interesting. Some of the conversations that I have with people with like DMS or whatever they may have, it, it's just, it goes off onto, uh, you know, from, basic trading conversations to like uh what is it coy we were yeah. he and i were joking around because the bears played the lions oh, yeah. on on thanksgiving so knowing that he's a bears fan and i'm a lions fan we yeah. were kind of going back and forth with banter just like how i'm in ohio state and you're in michigan yeah we're not you know what i wasn't even gonna <laughs> talk about that i really wasn't gonna he talk was, about he was so salty Yo, I, I was i was i'm like man, oh, ah. man you know what i had to just reach back into my mind i'm like yeah. Ken's my dude. I'm just gonna, I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him have this one. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the biggest thing. It's, it's welcoming. It's like, yeah. like a family environment, so to say. Yeah, I definitely agree. Cause like, just initially when I started um, Blue Capital, and it, it wasn't just like, oh, I'm the man. I know how to trade. I'm gonna teach value and all such and such. It wasn't even about that. Like, I truly have like a big heart, just like to see everyone win. Mm-hmm. And and create like a community that I know, especially being in this niche, there is not big of a community besides, you know, like the other network marketing companies that have that forex attached to it. Right. So when, when I saw that, I'm like, I could really take this in a whole different angle. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like like my overall goal is for a new incomer to come in and change your whole entire personality Mm -hmm. that you're not scared of you know approaching people you could actually take what you learn from being around here elsewhere like you know and apply that Mm -hmm. and i've seen like truly like a lot of people like especially in this room like are they just come in they clown each other and then they're like yeah and it doesn't even feel like they're here like you know it's just like they're having a great time and getting value every time that they come here and then they take it up and then apply whatever that they learn from here and then keep on keep on going. And then, of course, sharing it word of mouth. And I'm not asking for anyone to, you know, to do that. Like, you know, like people just willingly know that there's value in this space and then they want to continue to share it. And why not? Like there's no big egos being driven. Like, you know, I don't have a big ego at all. Like, you know, when I blow in a huge account, you know, I let everyone know. Like, I'm fully transparent. Like, and I smile behind it. You right. know, not a lot of people could be like, oh, damn, like, give me the pity. Sorry. Like, no, it's like, no, it's fine. Like, everyone is going through the same situation. Like, you know, but we just have different financial situations at that time. So, but it's fun. Like, I wanted to be in fun environment. Like, it doesn't make it feeling like, 
you know, you're, you know, when you're applying for like a new job, you're like, oh shit, this job's gonna suck, but the pay is great, like, right, you know, but and then you hate all the coworkers that's working there, <laughs> <laughs> and that, and it's it's true. Like, I got fired from eleven jobs straight, so you know, I was, yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Eleven, <laughs> eleven, eleven, right? Training, you're so, fired. <laughs> so and then when when I had people come into Blue Capital and then they have like a wonderful experience, they're like, man, I've learned a lot, this and that, and it's just like. Yeah, that really hits home for me. Like mm-hmm. I, I like smile behind it. I'm like, damn, like this person had a really great experience. Like, you know, and guess what? It's affordable. And yep. I'm not asking for people to break their pockets and life savings and oh, this is like blah blah blah. Like, you know, like it's truly like a very affordable skill set, you know, if learning a shortcut, you know, because there's a lot of different courses that are paying thousands of dollars and and then some people don't find no value. You can't even even get in contact with the person that you're that's mentoring you. Like right. you know, like they're non-existent. They're like, oh, thank you for the money. I'm gonna put it in my training account. Like you know, right. so and that's that. Like that's what I like to set a whole difference when it comes to blue capital. Like everyone can join, but just know that you gotta still put in that hard work if you really want to have that skill set to be paying for the rest of your life. Well, that's what that's what I've told students sometimes mm-hmm. where they they'll DM me and they'll thank me and they'll thank me. I'm like, "Look, if you're putting the the work in, I have, you know, the utmost respect for people that do that. I have no problem answering your questions." Mm-hmm. You know, and speaking about the ego thing, it's like, you know, when you come to Blue Capital, if you got an ego, you better check that shit at the sign up page. Yeah. You know, because that we it, it's not going to be for you then because we do mm-hmm. have people at the beginning stages we do have people yeah. intermediate we do have people at advanced but you know looking in the, in the in the conversations the people that are more advanced that have been doing it for years they're, mm. they're helping out you know mm. and that's the community base that, that i love is that anybody everybody who wants to trade can come in here and learn not only from our classes our scheduled classes but they can also ask the community questions mm-hmm. and get opinions, yeah. you know, and nobody has a problem with that. You know, um, there are times that, you know, on live calls, we have to call people out to get them out of the comfort zone. Oh, but you yeah. know what? If you don't and, get out of your comfort that's, zone, that's you're not going to learn. Part. Exactly. That's the best part. Like, I want you to come in and learning to adapt that there is no comfort zone. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Like, you will be called out in our live classes. You will be pulled out, you know, to break down the chart mm-hmm. and, you know stuff that you know we, we don't want everyone to be so, such like spectators just when it comes to just learning the skill set like we want you to apply what you learn and then hopefully that takes you to the whole next skill set so like the awkward moment of silence <laughs> but um but like yeah but like having you know making sure that you're on top of it because like we're gonna hold you accountable we're gonna push you to to the next level and that's what a lot of people need when it comes to this because like yeah learning this skill set is gonna be hand in hand but like we are gonna push you like be like hey look like if you really want to take this seriously you need to start taking this like as a career like as in you know your life savings is on the line like you know the more you take it seriously the more serious results you're gonna get so if you're gonna half-ass it then don't, don't expect anything like right. you know like you are going to hold yourself accountable by looking at yourself as your reflection and be like damn i didn't go hard enough right i didn't take the time i didn't value you know the sessions like you know and, and i remember like i have a great memory so like everyone that hops on the sessions i know everyone's names facts so facts. if i don't see your name and you're hitting me up on ig guess what i'm not answering that dm right i get too many dms on ask answering basic questions and some of them aren't even a part of the academy i was like look like if i'm paying 150 a month and you're asking me the question you are not taking advantage of what's in the academy so right. you're devaluing the money that you're investing into yourself right and it's just like what's the point right. so you're just going to be repeating the cycle oh you're going you're to be one of those person that just goes from one academy to a different academy and then you know you don't learn anything it's just like a complete you know cycle mm-hmm. and what do you take out of that? Nothing. So you're just back in square one, and then you wonder why. Oh, forex doesn't work. It's not. It's not meant for me. Honestly, I think it works for everyone, but I just feel like a lot of people just haven't have tapped into the mindset yet. 
Well, you I know? think it's I, I think it's because of the market itself is so intimidating. Yeah, it, it's scared. Like yeah. you know, like if you have that that perspective, like you know, like you're gonna be rich overnight, man. If if life if life was that easy, then everyone in here would be rich. Right. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. So uh, speaking of of you know the the work that's put into it i think the the content the way that we bring things down mm-hmm. i mean we you don't have to pay attention to 10 or 15 different educators you mm-hmm. literally have two people yep. <laughs> right so it's simple life it's, is short and sweet exactly so we want to make it as easy and simple for people so they can succeed we don't want to give you half-assed information yeah. we want you to learn how to trade with the minimal amount of indicators uh, with the minim- minimal amount of tools that you yeah. can use, we want you to be able to see the charts very clearly. And I think that's where everybody kind of falls into line where it's like, you know what, I believe this, I see it, mm-hmm. and, and it's working. Mm-hmm. You know, you get one person to do it, the next person is going to fall in line with it. Another yep. person is going to fall in line, and everybody's going to start getting it because we, we try to make it as easy as possible. Mm-hmm. So when you have the limited amount of, of resources to go to, yeah. you don't have to worry about, well, am I going to go to this class at this time, this class at this time, this class at this time, right? Where there's 10 different classes, mm-hmm. there's literally one class a day right now, yeah. you know, but there's communication throughout the whole, you know, discord mm-hmm. um, uh, option. So, you know, those DMs, the DM questions, cool. Like I said, as long as you're working, I have no problem giving those answers. Mm-hmm. I'll take time out of my day for people, mm-hmm. you know? Cause it's worth it. You yeah. Know? You're taking that time. I'm going to take time. Mm-hmm. And if you're, you're really wanting to understand it, there's, it's, it's not hard to see people succeed within the, the span of a few weeks. Yeah. You know, if people are worried about the 150, if you put the time into it within about a few weeks, you could double or triple that money yeah. that you just spent. Most definitely. Like, you know, well, 150 is really nothing compared to what you could make in 30 days in a month. So mm-hmm. like, it's just like, you, you got to find your validation of what is your goal that you're setting and what you're trying to achieve and and reach it. If you fail to reach it, then you have next week, right. you know, mm-hmm. um, and then you have the week after that. So, you know, a- applying everything there, there is no way that you could really fail because you're having a lot of like help with the discord. You know, we have ourselves, you know, we have the live recording sessions that you could actually tap it into. So like there really isn't any way that you could kind of fail if you're really not putting in the work. Right. And we have uh, content that includes the fundamental news. Yeah. You know, so Which we'll be adding in. And I think that that I think that's an aspect that a lot of people don't necessarily look at because you can capitalize on those things. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you can look at basic market structure, see where things are going, but. Some people like to just strictly trade NFP. You know what? We handle that as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, you know, being able to to stay on the way that, you know, the the economies are moving, the news is coming out, Mm -hmm. whether it's the the trade news or whether it's the tariffs or whether it's Brexit, anything like that. You know, we stay we stay on top of that. And I think that's a unique aspect that maybe some services don't provide. Yeah, like, you know, like you you get to start to learn how our economy is starting to Mm -hmm. run. Like, I know when I first started to trade, like I could care less about what was happening in our economy. I just want to get on the chart and just make money. And I I realized it was way more into that. Like, it was just like, man, like, like how is like, you know, other countries benefiting from this news impacting that is causing this pair to move? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like the fun- the fundamentals become really, really more appealing now. Like I don't even have, I, I barely even watch TV. Like I'm like watching either Bloomberg, you know, MSN, um, MSNBC, like just following up what, where is our economy is going? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, finding out, you know, even though they're giving out codes while they're talking, like finding out what, is a meaning behind it because like there there are times they are talking in code and it's just like all right they're not going to be spilling all of the information out to the people so you got to do that initiative research and be like all right this is what really is happening right the terrorist talks and the whole trade talks was way more deeper than i thought that that it was and Mm -hmm. it it was very appealing i actually gotta post that article um in the members chat but it was just like wow like you know, is basically he said, she said, and you know what, you know what China is really trying to is be number one, mm-hmm. and low key they're just they have really no policy of having their companies come in on board and be like, hey, you get the edge, 
And, you know, you have Donald Trump over here saying, oh, this company with the 5G is like they're trying to take over and and that is going to be the future. But and that really plays like. Yeah, it really plays a role like it, like I feel like a lot of people should be aware when it comes to that. So you guys could be mentally prepared if you guys are all Forex traders, but taking advantage and capitalizing off the tariff um, news and talks, man. It's like, it's fucked up to sound for all the people that's working <laughs> at nine to five, but trading, you could, if we go into war, we could still benefit as right. well too. Absolutely. We just got to change the location, you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like you could really benefit. Well, and I, I, I've learned a lot from our economy, um, just over the past 15, 16 months, uh, to the point to where, you know, doing my adult thing, owning a home, right? Mm -hmm. I can see where mortgage rates are going to start coming down before they actually get announced, mm -hmm. you know, paying attention to the economy. I can see where our economy could be, you know, dropping at some point or becoming mm -hmm. weaker because it needs to where, you know what, maybe I need to start saving a little side money yeah. here and there because of the fact that if our, if we end up in a recession or even into a depression at some point, well, guess what? I want to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's funny being able to take some of these, lessons and some of the the details that i've learned over the past year and a half um it's funny i'm sitting there at work i'll tell you a quick little story i'm sitting there at work and we had our, our q3 earnings call mm -hmm. and our ceo was talking about how great everything was yeah. great everything was right i go on a trading view and i look at the the stock and i'm like wait a minute i'm like the, those numbers yeah, it does I'm like, not look great. He's straight. I'm like, that That earnings call was straight bullshit. Yeah. And everybody that was sitting around me is like, well, what do you mean? What do you mean? And I'm like, well, the stock is dropping right now. <laughs> so if oh, they're talking about how great these numbers are, yeah. they're making you feel better as the employee because you're not going to pay attention to that shit. Yeah. They're making the board members feel good because they're not going to pay attention to that yeah. shit. But guess what? And they're what? probably trading against it, too. And that's the most funniest thing. Exactly. They're like, yeah, yeah, just, you know keep investing into us you know mm -hmm. they're doing the complete opposite in the background so you know it's really a, it's really a dirty game like no matter how you see it like you know from the aspect if you do know what's really going on and looking at the numbers and they're saying the complete opposite it's just like mm -hmm. i don't know there buddy you know yep. absolutely so. absolutely so like it gives me a little bit of an advantage to be able to see all that stuff and yeah. i wouldn't know that if it wasn't for coming through blue capital yeah. you know so Starting here from day one and being there since day one has been definitely a journey mm -hmm. and I wouldn't trade it for the world, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm looking forward to the future that we have. Yeah. And I want people to be able to say, you know what? I learned a lot from Blue Capital. Mm -hmm. I had a great experience mm -hmm. with Blue Capital, the point to where the 150 becomes nothing so much that either A, they sign up for the lifetime, they're with us and they're part of the family forever at that point, mm -hmm. or it just becomes nothing to where they it's the 150 a month and they're like, hey, I'm here just because, Yeah, you know, I'm here to help out others that, yeah, that, it the been, way that I was helped out. Yeah, there's been a countless amount of people that, you know, that reach out to me and they're like, hey, like, you know, I needed to take a break or, you know, even if like family issues, mm -hmm. you know, came upon them and they were just like, look, like I'm planning on coming back and like miss the community, like I want to be back involved. So like. I, we just make trading fun, like, yep. you know, to compared to like a lot of people, like they just make trading boring. Like, I, I don't want to be, you know, sitting down and it is, it's like, it feels like school all over again. Mm -hmm. No one in here likes school and want to sit down for like four to six hours and learning stuff that was being re reciprocated from the past. And it's just like, great. So I'm not learning any new value, you know, which I'm not going to touch on a subject on school because I have a whole like <laughs> desire, especially with my mom, like, you know, so like, um, but just having that, that, that environment where we just come in, you know, everyone could, you know, eat and, you know, we see Preston craving Chipotle <laughs> bowls and, you know, <laughs> so, but yet he goes and pulls out yeah, a peanut butter and like, jelly sandwich. You know, we have Lee drinking all the Sprites in our fridge, like. So, <laughs> so it becomes like it becomes really fun, like you know. Yeah, and by the way, he ate all the damn apples. Hey, you know, someone got to eat them. <laughs> so, but it just becomes really fun, like you know. There are just times that we're even trading live, and we're like, "Yo, let's get in a call." 
And then that that media excitement that we're oh shit we're all in blue like you know like yep. that, that that's a that's a very very powerful moment especially when people have never traded before they have never opened MT4 you know they don't even know what the hell they're trading and th- they're actually having their money being worked for them and mm-hmm. and that is like very very great experience just a witness like and then they just want to keep they, they get hooked they get mm-hmm. addicted and they're like man this is like it could be like a lifestyle you know yep. like you could you could start to travel the world and be like asking people you heard about blue cab oh you don't trade uh this ain't for you bro like right. you know <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so like and, and it's only gonna get better from here on out like like the ideas that i have for it for 2020 is ridiculous like it's going to bring so much value and it's going to impact a lot of people's lives. You know, we already talked about this, Mm -hmm. but it's going to truly, truly bring so much value and having a lot of people becoming straight um, independent traders. Yep. So, well, like I've, like I've always said, we ride together, we catch pips together and that's as a whole family. Yeah. So meaning we're either going to profit or we're going to lose together, but we're going to do it together. Yeah. You know, so, you know, when whenever a signal's given out, mm-hmm. we're usually in those signals as well. Yep. You know, so if if you're if you're in red, please believe I'm probably in red as well. Yep. So you and, know that's that's and, the cool and that's thing. That's the best as well. part too. Like, you know, if I'm giving out like a trade and it hits red, I'm coming back and bouncing right back. I forgot that even trade even happened. Right. So that's just like kind of like how my mindset is set up is that I have no emotion. I like to be the Kobe Bryant when it comes to trading but not with the ego don't 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 look at me like that i like i like his mentality what i'm talking about i don't like the ego behind it like you know so because you could have easily just said i'm like the lebron james of trading but you know that's cool man it's 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 still cool they both great players so (laughs) (laughs) but um but yeah shout out lbj (laughs) so like yeah we just like to have it fun like you know yeah you know, we could have strangers that have never come to the office. We have people that flew out from different states, and mm-hmm. they're like, man, like, I wish I could extend my week more, and, you know, and, and it's only going to get better. Um, and hopefully, like, we'll start to do, like, a lot of, like, um, activities, too, so just get more involved in, you know, showing a lot of people's personalities to, to express themselves a little bit more. Um yeah, I'm just having fun. Like I know, I, you know, you already know. I clown myself too. So like, yep. you know, I could talk shit about myself all damn day. You guys would still be laughing, like you know, and I'll be laughing too. Like, oh, I tell so. people stories all the time on my calls. Mm-hmm. I think that's why, like, sometimes my calls get so live, we get off track sometimes yeah. because I'm always guilty with the stories. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'll I'll either talk about you know the Hugo's way situation. Um, which people are like, oh my gosh, I'll talk about my, my first mess up with Bitcoin, Mm -hmm. you know, just to teach people, you know, about over leveraging because we've experienced it at all. We've experienced it all. So if that's the case, that's also something that's more welcoming inside of blue capitals. The fact that Mm -hmm. whatever you're going through, we've already been there and it's authentic. That's the thing. I think that's the word I'm looking for overall. Yeah. This whole time is just the authentic word, Yeah, you know? So. I think that's what what is like the biggest point of Blue Capitals yeah. authentic, authenticity. Yeah, especially when when people go through like the trial and errors. Like, damn, I blew my account. I'm like, do you know how much I blew my account? Right. Like, right. And I'm still here. Like, that shows you that there's a journey and a process behind it. Like, you know, like no matter what you went through, we went through it. Like, you know. So this that's why like you would never see me complain about like a trade setup ever. It's just like, look. I've been through this millions of times, like, you know, Mm -hmm. you know, so it becomes your reputation. Like, you know, like you do it over, do it over, do it over in it. So you don't do it again. So, yeah, I just want everybody to be able to experience it as much as possible. You know, so I think we've I think we built a great foundation and that foundation overall started with you. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things that I've done. It's 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 kind of funny. Um working it, it, it all started in a 4000 plus telegram chat for free right but that's all that's all that's all i got to say that's where it started from so i remember having conversations with my supervisor at work where she's like hey you need to check your ego you need to check your ego yeah. right 
And I started doing this and like, I mean, for myself, I'm like, okay, I don't know anything about this. It, it put my mental into a small spot mm-hmm. where I had to really, in, in that case, check my ego overall for, you know, math, math numbers, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Right. And now I've been able to apply that to my natural life to mm-hmm. the point to where I had a conversation with her not long ago. And she was like, you know what, this past year, you're a whole different person. And I'm like, you know what? There's one person you could thank for that. Yep. And so she was like, well, tell him thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, that's the other thing. Like, it, it really puts you into a life situation where you can really apply what you go through and the humbleness and, you know, just the knowledge that you, you apply to this as far as the mental goes. And you can apply it to natural life. Oh, yeah, of course. You know? Of course. Like, you know, you definitely just don't want it only just to be about about trading but um it's all about you know just really testing yourself you know growing as an individual in life Mm -hmm. you know you're going to be tested in a lot of different situations where you where you have to you know sit back and be humble you have to drop your ego you know you have to be way more open-minded than you thought that you were you know um more understanding like you know how are you going to deal with in a most frustrating situation you know, mm-hmm. um, how are you going to react when someone completely disrespects you in your face? Like, you know, like, how are you going to keep your composure? So, like, that's all of, like, the like the aspects that I look when it came to, you know, why I wanted to start Blue Capital. Like, I just wanted to change people's perspective, you know, and having a lifestyle, a skill set that could be duplicated to the masses of people. So, mm-hmm. and creating an environment where it's so fun, like, you don't even feel like you're trading and it's just like... You know, we're really doing this and we're all doing it together. So, right. Well, I mean, I'm I've I've found a lot of value in it. I will always find value in it. I think that there's a bright future that comes along with it. Mm -hmm. Um, So, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm looking really forward to, you know, 2020. 2021 where we're where it's going to be. Oh, yeah, it's it's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Like you guys are not ready. Oh, man. That's so, all I gotta say. From from an, an all time student that's that will always be here, I only thing I could do is thank you, bro, because you you built this platform for for people to be able to come into. And so someone gotta build a platform, you know. That's, that's, <laughs> someone gotta build it, you know. Like, that's, just, that's a lot of weight you know, on those big I, ass I shoulders, say, bro. I, I could say like like the, <laughs> damn. Why can my shoulders ever be left alone? Like, what has it ever done to y'all? <laughs> right? <laughs> but it's crazy just, just thinking about it, like, as being, like, the second platform. Like, you know, um, well, well, learned a lot. I honestly feel like this year alone was, like, a really tough, challenging um, roller coaster ride. Mm-hmm. You know, not just only being, like, an entrepreneur, but, like, tapping into the mindset and growing out of it and preparing for like the future and knowing what to expect and what not to expect. So like it it taught me a lot, just like how I could diverse the platform and um, how I could make it more fun and tapping into my creativity as well. It's just to be like, all right, always continuously to keep brainstorming and how every student could benefit when it comes to Blue Capital. Like Mm -hmm. how could each person get valued and and take away from it so well and i mean from from day one all the trials and tribulations that have that have gone on and that have happened you know i think it, it speaks a lot to the vision that you know it's it's still going mm-hmm. you know there's a lot that you learned about yourself this year there's a lot of learn that i learned about myself mm-hmm. this year and, and there's a lot of that we learned about um our current students right exactly you know? Exactly. And, you know, those that continue to support us from day one, like, you know, this is what we do it for, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it, it, it's one of the best things that I've been able to experience Yeah, in 36 years. So I know it's never too late, right? No, it's never too late. <laughs> never too late. Wait, wait, are you calling me old? <laughs> I think this guy just called well, me old guys. Well, if you brought it up to the, if the shoe fits, it fits, right? Hey, but you know what? <laughs> I might be 36, but I, what if I said I feel like I'm 22? Hey, right? 
Hey. So there you go. It's about hey. what. You, it's about how you hey. feel. Look, if Forrest Gump could dream, you could dream too. Oh, so now you're calling <laughs> me slow. Oh man, now he's calling me slow. All right, you know what? See, uh, there like, we go. He's like, all right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a SpongeBob. This thing right here. I'm gonna head out. Bye guys. <laughs> all right, so that gives it a wrap for episode 21. Yep. I just hope uh, people find value for Blue Capital and. Give it, give it a chance. If yeah. it's just if for one if month, also give it one too, month. Also, if you're a former Blue Capital student, cool. You know, I hope you you had an enjoyment. Uh, but it's only going to get better from here on out. Yep. And then sky's no limit. So. Agreed. Agreed. We'll catch you in 2020. Yeah.